Hi everyone, welcome to course 6A on longitudinal model of networks. So longitudinal model of networks is model of networks evolution. So it occurs when you have temporal data on the same networks and you want to find what describes the evolution process occurring in these networks. This is the outline of the course. We will, try, we will uh, first see the difficulties and the assumptions that uh, dealing with uh, longitudinal network data implies. Uh, then we will see how it can be dealt with by uh, Markov processes and we will have an overview of simple models of a longitudinal network. So first, a couple of assumptions have to be made in order to use some uh, mathematical uh, tools and theories to handle temporal network data. The first thing is that uh, network evolution is assumed to be a continuous time process. Um, even if the observation, so the data you have, the observation of these networks are at a discrete time point. So you have observation at a uh, dates in time. You have to, to have at least two observations of the network to make a, a modeling of uh, its evolution. And the first observation is always considered as given because uh, network evolution doesn't deal with apparition, formation, emergence of the network, only the evolution from a time uh, T0 to another time in the future. The, another assumption is that uh, the evolution of the network is a result of many small steps of change that occurs between the, disc, the time observation. And finally, the evolution pro process is not a steady state. It means that the evolution is not monotonic. It has some vari variation. Uh, sometimes uh, these variations are uh, sampled by the observation, but sometimes some uh, variations are not captured by your observation. There are some difficulties that are inherent to the network uh, data with uh, several observations in time. You already know that network data is complicated because of uh, dependent structure and everything is related to everything else. Um, there is uh, always a non-regularity of your data, so your data is never, is never uh, purely random and or purely regular like uh, trees and lattices and so on. So data is always in between the two easy uh, network to, to model. Um, sometimes uh, you can think that describing the evolution of a network is more complicated than describing the structure of a network, but it not, it's not always the case. Uh, for a more concrete point of view, the availability of temporal data for networks or the cost of this uh, data is uh, very high because uh, when you make some social network analysis um, with a longitudinal network, you have to follow the same sets of actors and track their relation at several dates in time, and this is very costly to have a sufficiently, um, uh, sufficiently uh, big uh, sample of data. And uh, the final difficulty is that the mathematics to deal with uh, the model of networks evolution are very uh, complicated, and the equation are always, uh, almost always, impossible to resolve analytically. So, we will see how it can be done by considering uh, the evolution uh, of a network as a Markov process. And this will be developed in the uh, second part of the course. Thank you.